This is Sports Zone Radio. Radio. Champions play here at Sports Zone Radio. Well, we've been asked to provide broadcast coverage tonight for some stations, radio stations across Navajo land. So I want to mention KTBA Tuba City, AM 760 and 95.3 FM. KHAC Window Rock on AM 880. Also KWIM at 104.9 FM. And KPGX. That's Navajo Mountain Lake Powell on 93.5 FM. Our friends on radio in North, Northern Arizona as we bring you this broadcast here of the Sports Zones, Northland Basketball. And that's brought to you by Choice Broadband. First points of the game belong to Window Rock, and they might get more as they come up with a ball off a Tuba City miss. And we're underway with Northland Basketball. And thank you, everybody, for joining us from Tuba. On this one tonight, my name is Floyd Simmons, getting to call the play-by-play. -play. Taylor Begay made the opening shot a moment ago for the scouts and we'll get a ball tipped out off of off of window rock the starters for the scouts include taylor begay marcus nelson kanan marion marionito is a starter as well devin yazi in the starting lineup i'll give you the fifth here in a moment we watch to the city lose it out of bounds that's kicked out by scouts on defense jalen baia is the fifth starter for window rock Tuba City, number 23 in the state. Window Rock, number 29. So this is a critical, critical game for these two teams. Got to finish in the top 24 to get into the playoffs. And actually, I, I am making a bit of an assumption. I haven't looked at the structure for the playoffs this year. I make the assumption that it's just as it has been for, for a long time now. You got 24 teams get into postseason. And the top eight teams get a, a first round bye. And then the next eight teams get to host the first round. And again, the top 24 teams in the AIA's power rankings are the teams that get to go to the playoffs. There's a takeaway by the scouts and Baia with the first points for himself. Jalen Baia gets that bucket. It's 4-0 Rock as this, as this game gets underway. Taden, Arizona decides to drive and a nice dish. And his guy was, I'm not sure Nathaniel Fulton Jr. who got the shot was expecting the pass. And, and Taden almost fooled his own guy like he fools the defenders. On the drive, the no look, the dish. He gets the assist, by the way, and Fulton Jr. got the points. And then also just now took the charge. See again on that basket a moment ago. <laughs> a little uh, flip to the left side. And defense flat-footed. Fulton Jr., the basket. And after Fulton Jr. then took the, the charge, which is the first foul of the game on Devin Yazzie. Tuba City takes over. And they're going to work it for a soft jumper just right of the elbow area. No, no good out there for Kanoa Yazzie in his first attempt of the game. Inbound. For the scouts, the fighting scouts with it. Taylor Begay near the free throw line back outside to Devin Yazzie. And a beautiful pass to the cutter. Devin gets the assist. Jalen Baia, the benefit of that great pass. Six to two. Finding scouts in front early. From 17 feet out there. That shot would not go in for Quinoa Yazi. So he's missed his first couple of tries in the game today. Boy, nice job. Taylor Begay was coming in, but his teammate, Marcus Nelson, with the no-look spin to find Taylor coming. I don't know how he knew Taylor was coming down the lane, but he did. Didn't get points out of it, but it was a pretty good looking, pretty good looking pass. And a travel called on Taden. Taden doesn't like it, but that was a pretty good call by the official. And I want to say, say a hello to to Chuck Harper and the and the the great people from 
these radio stations that normally provide the coverage for you. And they're taking our feed. Chuck, I got your message a moment ago. I'm glad to be able to do whatever we can to help out. And I hope that we're living up to your expectations the best that we can anyway. Halfway into the first period here. Four minutes on the clock, everybody. Devin Yazzie will handle it. And he'll go left hand to the baseline. Pull up. No good. Quinoa Yazzie rebound for Tuba City. In the corner, the release. Tiwawina. And his first shot of the game did not hit the mark. And rebound down to Window Rock. Six to two is our score. Scouts in front. Drive, drop back. Nelson's pass outside. Baya didn't make it, but he's going to steal it back. And then has it knocked out of his hands. Good Pedro Martinez defense for Tuba City. Tiwawina under the basket. Well, he hesitated. If he'd have gone straight up with it, I don't think he realized how much room he had right there. If he goes straight up, he makes that shot, I think. But a little hesitation. And in the end, it did not go in. And Tayden, Arizona, with a big shot. For Tuba, he hits the three. And it's a one-point scouts lead. Baia the pull up, and that's, that's not Baia, pardon me on that, that's Kanan Marianito with the big three. Came off the screen, got himself open, beautiful shot. Drive, Arizona, count the basket. He was clotheslined on the way in there by the defender, Taylor Begay. Look at it again, watch this. Oh, how did he? I think he broke his stinking neck. It's a line from a movie, as you know. Tayden somehow able to still get that shot up. And good. And he makes it a three-point play as well. Well done by Tayden, Arizona. Nine to eight, our score. Taylor Begay, offensive rebound, put back miss. Got it again. And this time does get fouled by Fulton Jr. That is just the first foul whistled on Tuba. We played five and a half minutes of basketball. On the other side, two team fouls on the rock. And the big guy at the line, Taylor Begay makes the shot. Taylor was the quarterback for Window Rock. Most of you Northland basketball fans know that. But do you have any real appreciation for how good a quarterback he was? I thought he was outstanding. I got to see him. My son plays for Blue Ridge. And by the way, when Blue Ridge went to Window Rock, not only did I get, get a chance to see Taylor Begay, and, and he was terrific. But my son, David, who's a junior this year, also broke his leg in that game. Or finished breaking his leg. He kind of broke his leg. Kind of broke his leg before that game. Back in the summertime, had a little, I think, a hairline fracture that just kept on bothering and bothering and bothering. And then finally, in a non-contact play in the Winter Rock game, he trying to change directions, plant his foot, and he broke his, broke his fibula. Missed the rest of the football season because of that. Here's a jumper on the way for Nelson. And it did not go in for Marcus. Rebound, Tuba. Tayden up on the left angle. His pass tipped to Tiwawina. Sets up for a wide open three, and it's no good there. Tipped out of bounds. That'll be off. And the scouts out of bounds coming into the game for Tuba. Here's Merrick Billigodi. He's going to replace Fulton Jr. We have Billigodi, Tiwawina, Martinez. Quinoa Yazi and Tayden, Arizona. Inbound to Tayden, 90 seconds left in the first quarter. Tayden, step back. Defense got there, couldn't shoot. Three second lane violation. Took a while for that to develop, and so somebody camped out just a little bit too long in the 
Scouts will get the basketball here. Up the floor, Marianito gets it to Marcus Nelson, and Nelson will try to power one up over the defender. Can't do it. Tipped around. Rebound to Taylor Begay. The turnaround, that's short. Kunoi Yazi. Tuba rebound. Now Arizona. Euro step. Drops it back. Quinoa. Shot no good. He'll get it again and miss. They'll let him play a bit out there, I can tell you that. And into front courts. Boy, Marianito, he's quick. And he's good. And the shot is good. 34 seconds remain in the quarter. Arizona outside to Kyler Tiwawina. Tiwa gives it back to Arizona. Now Quinoa, 15 seconds on the clock, and he's going to draw a foul and get to the foul line for the Warriors, who trail by five right now. The personal foul on the scouts. Taylor Begay, that's his second foul today. Three team fouls. Only one foul so far on Tuba. And a little struggle at the line. Quinoa misses that shot. He'll get another right here. And that one is good. 13 to 9. 10 seconds remaining. Fighting scouts. Likely to get the final shot here. Five seconds. Marcus Nelson. Drive, dish, got to shoot, it's away. But it's over the mark for Calvin Begay. He misses at the buzzer, and that ends the first quarter of this. Boys varsity matchup, number 23, Tuba City, number 29, Window Rock. Scouts in front, 13-9 at the end of one. Stand by for the second quarter. North Land basketball presented here at the Sports Zone by Choice Broadband. Don't go anywhere. Choice Broadband is now available to more homes on the Navajo Nation than ever before. Visit the Choice NTUA Wireless District office nearest you to get started or go online to choice-wireless.com forward slash broadband to see if your home can get connected. Holbrook Family Dentistry is a proud partner of Sports Zone Radio's Northland Basketball. They've been serving Holbrook and the surrounding area since 2000 and they cheer for all our local teams and love it when the North succeeds. Holbrook Family Dentistry's three dentists are all general dentists from our local area, so they can perform most type of procedures in-house. They pride themselves on their ethics and kindness and genuinely love working with the communities of Northern Arizona. Come see us at Holbrook Family Dentistry on Iowa Street in Holbrook or call 928-524-6854. Back in once again, start the second quarter here. Northland basketball brought to you by Choice Broadband. Shot in the paint, missed by Quinoa Yazi. Tuba City gets the offensive rebound. They go back to work here. Trailing Window Rock, 13 to nine. See that message out there. I see that message, Jason Baya. Checking in from Salmon, Idaho. Says biggest fan to number 12. That would be Jalen Baya. He says, I love you, son. Have a great game. Go Scouts. Hashtag broadcaster, hashtag refs with the fire sign after that. And a long three that will rim out no good for Tayden, Arizona. There's Marcus Nelson on the rebound. Marcus to the baseline and then knocked out by Tuba's defense. Into the game is, is a Cutter Bitsilli for Winter Rock. Cutter joins Devin Yazi. Jalen Baya, not Jalen, sorry, that's Kanan Marianito. So we get an inbound to Marcus Nelson, who is out there for Window Rock starting the quarter. Let's see if we missed anybody else out there. Looks like uh, Devin Yazi, also part of the five that start the second quarter for Window Rock. 7.09 on the clock, inbound for the scouts. And there is shot from Devin Yazi, no good. Rebound, Tayden, Arizona, up the floor to Merrick. Milagoti. And he gets blocked by Kanan Marianito. Well, that brought the uh, 
That brought a nice response from the scouts fans that are here. Pretty clean effort by Marianito. Inbound on the way for TC into Arizona. There's Kyler. Kyler T. Wawina starting the second quarter. Merrick Billigoni and a travel called on Tuba City. Pedro Martinez starts the second quarter. So does Andre Edison. I believe that's the first time we see Andre here in the game today. For the, for the Pete Butler coached Tuba City Warriors. Great spin move. And nice basket for Marcus Nelson. Coming into the paint and with the left hand up off the glass. Inside Edison. He ends up on the ground. We end up with a jump ball. It is officials appreciation week. And they they did appreciate the officials here today at Tuba City. Mentioned them all, uh, every official, at least the ones that were still here working these games today. And I would urge all you Northland basketball fans as well to show a lot of love and appreciation for these men and women that, that do this job, difficult job, a lot of pressure, and for little pay. And nobody is work, nobody is making their living officiating games. They're all making their money doing something else. Hey, nice inbound to Marcus Nelson and a little short range jumper is good for Marcus. 17 to nine, Window Rock in front of Tuba City. 5.57 on the clock in the second quarter. The Mountain Mobile Autoglass halftime report at the break. Here's a whistle, ball out of bounds. Devin Yazzie tried to get it. Tried to get the takeaway, and then he stepped out with it. See, uh, Pat Lewis says, thank you, Floyd, once again, covering the best basketball. We love it. We love basketball in the Navajo Nation and in the White Mountains. They, by the way, fans of basketball that watch our coverage, pay attention to the 3A East as well, man. Those teams got a big upset win last night by the Winslow Bulldogs over Blue Ridge. And I think Winslow has activated a, a player that we hadn't seen earlier this season that is helping to improve the, the Bulldogs' fortunes here as they go into January. That, that uh, Blue Ridge team is outstanding. They got a great big man in Nate Padilla. Great guard play uh, as well. Tate in Arizona picks up his first foul of the game a moment ago. This is Devin Yazzie at the line, missed the first. Nope, that's not Devin. Sorry, that is uh, Marcus, Marcus Nelson. And he missed them both. I believe that was Fulton Jr. back into the game for Tuba City, and he's got the two, got the points. 5.20 on the clock, second quarter. Six-point lead for the Fighting Scouts. They got a shot. They got the look. I think they wanted inside, but they could not make that shot. And that's going to go out of bounds. There's Pete Butler. We've got five minutes remaining in the first half. By the way, we're going to get a shot of Coach Butler's brother, Kenneth, here in a moment. Kenneth Butler. He's here at the game watching in the stands. Little brother of Coach Pete. Got a little something on him in a moment. From the scouts in the front court. Jalen Baya. He gives it up. And a three on the way. That is going to be no good out there for Cutter Batsilli. Back to the scouts. Nelson. And outside to Marianito. That wasn't Marianito. That was Baya. Sorry about that. We'll get a turnover by... The Fighting Scouts right there. That gentleman right there, that is the brother of Coach Pete Butler. That's Kenneth Butler. Okay, that man in the in the in the hat. So Kenneth has this distinction. In 1989, playing for Tuba City, he set the record for most three-point baskets made in a regional game. He had nine threes 
in this game against Kingman High School. And Tuba City upset them. Could not get to the state playoffs. It was a regional playoff. So we watch a nice follow for Calvin Begay and the Fighting Scouts. Nineteen to eleven, Window Rock in front. But Kenneth Butler right there set a set a record, a state record in a regional game. Nine threes he made as Tuba City got the and the upset win over over Kingman in that game. And I asked Coach Butler if he taught him taught Kenneth how to shoot. He coached him in youth basketball. He said, "Here is." Merrick Villagodi, the steal, the lefty, no good. The tap, no good as well. That was Noah Curley on the floor for Tuba, and he couldn't make the shot. Inside, Taylor Begay, the spin, and the shot blocked by the foul by Fulton Jr. That'll put Taylor at the free throw line. That was pretty good anticipation, though, by, by Nathan, by Nathaniel Fulton Jr. Second foul on him in the game. These officials have, have, I think, really, I mean, I think they've called a good game, and they are letting them play. Only three fouls on each of these teams. So we see Devin Yazi return to the lineup for Window Rock. And this guy at the line is Taylor Begay. And he missed his first free throw. That one is also a little bit off the mark. Rebound, Fulton Jr. for Tuba. 3-12 remaining, first half. Mountain Mobile Autoglass, halftime on the way. That runner is up there, no good for DeAndre White Rock for the Warriors. Devin, a little handoff to his teammates. Hey, it's supposed to go the other way around. Taylor Begay was the football quarterback, but he got the handoff from Yazzie and he dropped it in. Scouts by 10. And there's a big three. That was needed. Noah Curley cashing in from that left corner for the Warriors. He chopped the lead down to seven. Two and a half on the clock. Outside, Devin Yazzi. Guarded by Curley. Devin will run it up there. And high off the glass, no good. Fulton Jr. Now he rebounded, had it for just a second, and then lost it out of bounds. Let's see. Uh, we got a timeout. We do have to get a, a word in from our presenting sponsors. We'll do that. Choice Broadband brings you Northland basketball here at the Sports Zone. Window Rock 21, 2 to 14 this boys game. We're back with more first half action right after this. Choice Broadband is always expanding the service area here on the Navajo Nation for Choice Broadband high-speed internet. Visit the district office nearest you to get started or go online to choice-wireless.com forward slash broadband to see if your home can get connected. Thank you to Choice Broadband, Choice NTUA Wireless. We, you know, we couldn't do what we do. Pretty proud of the product. We could not do it without, without Choice Broadband, Choice Wireless. So thank you to those good people. And please acknowledge them when you, whenever you get the opportunity. Somebody gave us a correction, said it is not homecoming or hoop coming tonight for Tuba City. That will be on the 27th against Monument Valley. Now that makes sense. Because I'm looking around for any signs of hoop coming and I'm not seeing it. So thanks for the correction. It is not hoop coming tonight. I think Pete's been a part of two championships, if I'm not mistaken. One at Ganado, for sure, as a coach. To the high post, Fulton Jr., Tuba City has got the ball. Taden, Arizona, guarded closely outside by Marianito. Now Tewa with the ball. Back to the right side. White Rock now inside it goes, and that's gonna that ain't gonna work out too good. Taylor Begay trying to tip it to his teammate. Yeah, that was a little bit of an in-betweener. Now yeah, it's gonna go out of bounds. I think this is uh, Taylor's first year playing basketball in high school. It's hard for me to imagine a kid with that size didn't ever play basketball. Like 
probably right as a, as a youth, maybe in junior high. But I, I don't think he's played any high school basketball until this, his senior season. A minute 10 remaining, spin. Whoa, what a move by Tiwa. It didn't go in. The quick spin. He liked it. He liked the, the first part of it anyway. Watch this, the behind the back. Oh, that's, that's some fancy work right there. Good looking effort. Did not produce the points, but the Warriors will get the ball back. Inbound, and it comes in to Arizona. He's going to get the ball back, and he pulls up from about 16 feet out in the corner, and that shot is no good. And then, and then Noah Curley is fouled on that rebound, and the guy that got him, the guy that got him was Jalen Baia. First foul in the game on Jalen. Somebody else said they believe that hoop coming is next weekend. All right. This is Curly at the line. And he misses both of those attempts for the Warriors. There's a drive and an offensive foul. Player control foul. And the guy that uh, committed that was Devin Yossi on, on his drive. Two fouls. Actually, now three. Three fouls. On Devin. Sixth foul on the scouts. Really inconsequential. 40 seconds left. Might, might get to a one and one for the Warriors. Maybe get one chance at the line out of it. We'll see. 30 seconds remaining. 24 seconds on the shot clock. t on the runner. No good off the back iron. Got his own rebound. Try to get that one inside. Now it's on the ground. Now there's a fight and scramble for it. Fulton Jr. Among those guys for Tuba fighting for the ball. Tied up, and then the guy that helped tie him up was Diami Toledo. Inbound. Boy, Kyler is struggling to find his range. Steal. Good defense. Boy, what a play out there. That was Marianito with the steal. No, Jalen. Sorry, Jalen Baia. Got that steal up the floor, knocked out of bounds. Seven seconds remaining in this first half. Nelson gets it inbounds, gets it back. Open for three, wide open. Can't leave him like that. Beats the buzzer. Cannot leave the guy that wide open. 24-14 here as we go into halftime. The Fighting Scouts, you know, kind of uh, trying to mimic the girls earlier at halftime. The Lady Scouts had a 20-point lead over Tuba City. And here in the boys gave me a 10-point lead for the Fighting Scouts. And we will send it out for a quick break. A three-minute break, everybody. We'll return in a few moments to continue our broadcast coverage from Warriors Pavilion. We call this Northland Basketball. This is an exclusive brand of covering Navajo Nations and White Mountains basketball only here at the Sports Zone. Northland Basketball. It's brought to you by Choice Broadband and the Mountain Mobile Autoglass Halftime Report is straight ahead. Sports Zone Engine, stand by. Break it down in a moment. And we'll be back right after this. Choice Broadband is a proud sponsor of the 2022 Choice Classic, supporting our young athletes as they compete for the title and demonstrate the values and perseverance that is found throughout our community. To all of our young athletes, we say, keep making us Navajo proud. 
Imagine this, a professional healthcare partner that's concerned about you, your choices, your health, your safety. At White Mountain Regional Medical Center in Springerville, choice and elevating your healthcare experience is the mission of our new CEO, experienced physicians and friendly staff. Whether you need a rapid COVID-19 test, a vaccination, or you're looking to utilize the newest MRI, CT scan, or nuclear medicine technology, White Mountain Regional Medical Center, located in Springerville, is your healthcare partner when choices matter. Holbrook Family Dentistry is a proud partner of Sports Zone Radio's Northland Basketball. They've been serving Holbrook and the surrounding area since 2000, and they cheer for all our local teams and love it when the North succeeds. Holbrook Family Dentistry's three dentists are all general dentists from our local area, so they can perform most type of procedures in-house. They pride themselves on their ethics and kindness and genuinely love working with the communities of Northern Arizona. Come see us at Holbrook Family Dentistry on Iowa Street in Holbrook or call 928-524-6854. The team at Beam and Will Drilling is like a great football team. They work hard, they work as a team, and they play to win. Their reputation is second to none, and they proudly call the White Mountains their home, even though they complete projects throughout the entire southwestern United States and beyond. No project is too big or too small for beam and well drilling, so when the time comes for you to punch a hole in the ground, remember the White Mountains top well drilling team, beam and well drilling. Call anytime, 928-205-7647. Go deep with Beam and Well Drilling. Happy New Year from Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent. Just in time for our Valentine special, we are introducing our new business partner, Cattleman Steakhouse. Yeehaw! With every insured replacement, you can take your sweetheart out for the best prime rib on the mountain. Or choose salmon, sirloin steak, cod, pork chops, chicken, or a variety of other delicious dinners. You are the best, honey. And with the Valentine special, you also get two movie tickets to the WME theaters. And this year, you could take your Valentine to a VIP experience to see the King of Country, George Strait, live in concert. That's right, we're giving away two premium VIP tickets to see George Strait, Chris Stapleton, and Little Big Town live in Phoenix, including VIP parking. Yes! Don't miss out on our best Valentine special. Five, three, six, five, nine, Welcome to the Mountain Mobile Halftime. A complete first half breakdown of tonight's Sports Zone Radio Game of the Week broadcast. This is the Mountain Mobile Halftime. Hey, basketball fans, just disregard the football footage there on the uh, the halftime open. Sorry, sorry about that. I, I promise you, we will. One of these days very soon, we'll... We'll get that uh, basketball footage on there for you because it's no longer football season. I don't know if you noticed that or not. Hey, by the way, for us here at the Sports Zone, football season comes comes back a lot sooner than you think. It, it's not August when we return to football coverage. We we start covering football again in March this year, April, April, because we here at at the Sports Zone at the, at the Simmons Media Group. That's the name of our company, Simmons Media Group. We will cover, as we have the last couple of years, Arizona Rattlers football in Phoenix, the Arizona Rattlers Indoor Football League franchise. They, they play at the Footprint Center. That's the home of the Phoenix Suns and the Phoenix Mercury. And it's a beautiful facility, as most of you know. I think most of you have probably been there. And, you know, they did like... $250 million in renovations at that facility over the last like three years. And it's like a new, it's like a whole new place. It is beautiful. Suns Arena is beautiful. They have updated everything. It's it's a different, if you haven't been there like in five years, it's a completely different place. You, won't, you would not recognize it. It's beautiful. That's where the Arizona Rattlers play their indoor football league schedule. And Simmons Media Group, we, we get to be the television and radio broadcast team for the Arizona Rattlers and the team in Tucson, the Tucson Sugar Skulls as well. We handle both teams. So we begin our indoor football league broadcast season coming up in April. And I would invite you to find out what indoor football is all about. It is it is awesome. If you've never been to a game, you got to get to a game. It is it is it is a rock concert and a, and, a, and a football game sprung up. 
and, and the talent level is, is outstanding. High level of talent in the Indoor Football League. A lot of these guys are just one notch beneath the NFL talent. And some guys end up in the NFL eventually. So there is that here in this game at Tuba. Outscored halftime, Window Rock 24, Tuba City 14, Northland Basketball presented by Choice Broadband. This is the Mountain Mobile Autoglass Halftime Report. And Marcus Nelson had a great second quarter, scored all his points, including a three-point basket. In the second quarter to lead the scoring for Window Rock, he's got seven points. Taylor Begay has six points. Kanan Marianito has five points. Four points for Jalen Baia. And, and two points for Galvin Begay. On the other side, Tuba City still trying to kind of get out of first gear. Taden, Arizona has six points. Nathaniel Fulton Jr., four points. Noah Curley has three points. And Quinoa Yazi has one point. Remind you, a couple of our upcoming broadcasts on Tuesday. On Tuesday, we will be at Winslow. It's Winslow versus Alchese in a 3A North and East region showdown. Winslow out of the East. Alchese, of course, playing in the North region. So we have that on Tuesday, 6 o'clock start time for the broadcast doubleheader. And then the following day on Wednesday, we see the scouts again. Window Rock at Snowflake. Window Rock at Snowflake. A couple of our upcoming broadcasts. And this is all, of course, if the upcoming storm, snowstorm, doesn't interfere with any of that. I don't even know if we're going to make it home tonight. It was snowing at the Grand Canyon, what, a couple hours ago. It's supposed to be snowing right now in Flagstaff. That's part of our route home. I don't know what awaits us when this thing ends and we step outside, but it could be treacherous already here in the Tuba City area by the time the game ends and we get packed up. And one more thing I want to mention, our very good friend, Stephen Young. Very good friend, Stephen Young, the athletic director at Monument Valley High School. The Monument Valley Mustangs, ranked number two in the state, undefeated right now. The boys, the Lady Mustangs, ranked number two in the state. And very soon we're going to get to start seeing a lot of Monument Valley action right here at the Sports Zone, part of Northland basketball. The way the schedules work out, it seems like every year we have a difficult time with finding the games for Monument Valley early on. But when we get toward the middle and latter parts of January and then the playoffs, a lot of Monument Valley Mustang basketball. Can't wait for it. We love MV. We love the Mustangs. And that's all coming up. On the way, part of Northland basketball here at the Sports Zone. Save the best for last is the way I would look at that, at that right now. Let's get a word in from Mountain Mobile Autoglass to end the halftime report. Second half on the way next. Northland basketball presented by Choice Broadband. Stand by. Happy New Year from Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tent. Just in time for our Valentine special, we are introducing our new business partner, Cattleman's Steakhouse. Yeehaw! With every insured replacement, you can take your sweetheart out for the best prime rib on the mountain. Or choose salmon, sirloin steak, cod, pork chops, chicken, or a variety of other delicious dinners. You are the best, honey. And with the Valentine special, you also get two movie tickets to the WME theaters. And this year, you could take your Valentine to a VIP experience to see the King of Country, George Strait, live in concert. That's right, we're giving away two premium VIP tickets to see George Strait, Chris Stapleton, and Little Big Town live in Phoenix, including VIP parking. Yes! Don't miss out on our best Valentine special. Five, three, six, five, nine, seven. Thank you to Mountain Mobile Auto Glass and Tents. They help us bring you Northland basketball here on our live video streams on the Sports Zone Radio mobile app as well. Today on some other radio stations across Navajo land as well today. Uh, but uh, how about Mountain Mobile Auto Glass giving away tickets? Some great tickets to George Strait coming up. Is this George Strait country? Anybody out there on... Uh, on our YouTube feed, want to confirm or deny whether or not the Navajo Nation is George Strait country. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not positive on that. And I'd like to know. Of course, I say that because I think I already know the answer. We watched Kanoa Yazi start the scoring in the second half at the free throw line. 
After Taylor Begay picked up his third foul for the Rock, for Winter Rock, and both foul shots good for Quinoa Yazi. And the Scouts lead cut to eight points as we start the second half. Northland basketball is presented by Choice and TUA Wireless. Feed goes inside, and a, a quick whistle there. That is a foul on Nathaniel Fulton Jr., his third foul of the game. Now, and that's going to put at the free throw line Jaden by us. I see that, I see that note in the, uh, the comment section of our YouTube feed. Jaden, not Jalen, Jaden. Well, when I get the book beforehand, trust me, there's all manner of different levels of penmanship. Sometimes it's a little difficult to make the distinguishment between the letters. As Jaden Baya missed them both. Rebound too, but for a second, taken away. Taken away by Devin Yazi. Yazi, Marcus Nelson, Taylor Begay. Who gets that basket? Those are three of your second half starters for Window Rock. Also, Jaden Baya. Kanan Marianito start the second half for the Fighting Scouts. And right there on the other side, Kyler T. Wawina still trying to find his range. Tried that three on the right angle. Kyler unable to make it. Oh boy, there's another foul on Taylor Begay. That's his fourth foul. And I would expect Coach Kloss G to get Taylor off the floor in a hurry. Uh, somebody up, inbound to Tayden. Tayden, Arizona gets that bucket for the Warriors. They're cutting that lead down 26 to 18. Pedro Martinez got a hand in there. Tipped away the dribble. Devin Yazzie picks it up. Back outside, Marcus Nelson open for three. Missed it, got it back on the rebound. To Taylor inside. The game is that shot. And finally, it's Fulton Jr. with the rebound for Tuba City. Tayden, Arizona drive, dish. And Kyler T. Wawina got hacked by Baya. A shot is good for Kyler. Second foul in the game on Jaden Baya. And out of the game goes Big Taylor Begay with four fouls. Replaced for Window Rock by Calvin Begay. Check those five for you for Tuba. After T1. Missed the foul shot, but then he's going to get another one right here. Try to make it a five-point game. Cut the halftime lead in half right here. If he can make the shot, the Warriors come out. Pretty good start to the half, and they do that very thing. 26-21. Kyler's first points of the game. Well, take it back. Oh, yeah, yeah, first points for Kyler today. Nelson <clears throat> for Winderock, and his pass taken away by Quinoa Yazi. Quinoa joins Merrick Billigodi, who brings it into front court just now. Pedro Martinez. Look at this. Somebody brought me a burger and and, a, and, and two hot dogs wrapped in a flour tortilla. <laughs> hey, there's Kyler. Kyler had some difficulty getting his shot down in the first half, and he's got a big smile now because he's come out six points early on to help slice that Window Rock lead down to just two points, and that forces Coach Klosky and his team to take a timeout. So let's grab a word in from our presenting sponsors. Just a 30-second break right here. White Mountain Regional Medical Center will bring you the Sports on Radio Player of the Game at the end of the game. Two-point Window Rock lead. Northland Basketball presented by Choice Broadband. Imagine this, a professional healthcare partner that's concerned about you, your choices, your health, your safety. At White Mountain Regional Medical Center in Springerville, choice and elevating your healthcare experience is the mission of our new CEO, experienced physicians and friendly staff. Whether you need a rapid COVID-19 test, a vaccination, or you're looking to utilize the newest MRI, CT scan, or nuclear medicine technology, White Mountain Regional Medical Center, located in Springerville, is your healthcare partner when choices matter. Devin Yazzie comes out of the Window Rock timeout, and he grabs a quick bucket there. That little mid-range jumper is good to make it 28-24, Window Rock. And then Devin, a rebound off the Quinoa Yazzie three-point try that did not 
Go in for Tuba. 5.08. Yazi drives, and Pedro Martinez stole it. Two on two, fast break. Foul on Marcus Nelson. No shot. Martinez headed to the foul line on the Nelson foul. And the official said 14, but there is no 14 out there. I think he means 24. That was Nelson right there in front of the play. The uh, official scorekeeper is going to go ahead and make that change for him. And he does. And two shots for Pedro. Vote for Pedro. Makes that shot. See if he can make it a two-point game again right here. And it's just a tad off the mark. There'll be a foul from, be from behind. And the uh, guy that committed the foul is Andre Edison. Edison for Tuba City with that foul. Got somebody out there said, uh, you darn tootin' it is George Strait's country. Daryl Heward said that. Here comes a drive and a, and a turnover by the scouts. Tayden, Arizona, look at him go. And he knocks over Devin Yazzie, and Yazzie gets his fourth personal foul on the blocking foul. Tayden with a good job on the, on the control. Really did a great job. Now that's, that's something to think about now. With 4.46 remaining in the third quarter, Devin Yazzie has four fouls. Taylor Begay has four fouls. Taylor's been on the bench for a while. Now there goes Devin out of the game. And that's going to force Coach, Coach Kolosci to go deeper into his bench as Tyron Watchman comes into the game for the first time now. Now watch all that. Timeout after Taden makes both of those free throws. And we are down to a one-point game, basketball fans. How do you like that? 28-27. Window in front, timeout taken by Coach Butler and the Warriors. They trail by 10 in halftime. They have erased all of that here in the third quarter. And uh, we'll return to the action in a moment, but I do want to mention a couple of things. I'm going to get to a couple more of your comments on our YouTube feed. But I also want to say that we are working on the location of our 2023 Northland Basketball All-Star Games. Look at that, more food coming. Got the hamburger. Got the hot dogs wrapped in a flour tortilla. That's a homemade tortilla, by the way, right there. Now we got some dessert. Thanks, whomever keeps bringing food. Uh, but I want to say that uh, our Northland Basketball All-Star Game will be held. Boys and girls All-Star Games are going to be held in June, beginning of June. So start thinking about that. Start making plans. Start being a part of it as we get together the, the best talent that we get to cover here at Northland Basketball. And, and we'll bring it to you in June. Make plans. Steele, Tayden, Arizona. At the other end of it. He got out there, got a good pass. And look at Tuba City. They have taken the lead from Window Rock, 29-28. Marcus Nelson. Active hands defensively by Pedro Martinez. And then Taden, Arizona, commits a foul. Second foul of the game on Taden. What a turnaround for the Warriors. This crowd, listen to them in the background. They, they go from intensity. They're, they're really loud. One moment. And then, and then they can go to almost zero really, really quick. It's interesting. As we get a, a foul from outside the arc. And the guy that committed the foul for Tuba is Edison, Andre Edison. Second foul of the game on, on Andre. That should be three shots for the guy at the line. Kanan Marianito. First one is good for Kanan. We got our friend Augusta watching from Minnesota again. Thanks for the comment there. And that one's going to go in. Marianito makes them both. Winter Rock goes back in front, 30 to 29. It's 
Somebody out there, Toby said, it's amazing facility at the Footprint Center. Kevin said, go AZ Rattlers, yeah. If you've not been to a Rattlers game, it, it's like if you were to combine the intense, the high scoring of basketball with football, that's what you get. And the games aren't that long, really. Like, it, like an NFL game, you ever been to an NFL game? It's kind of crazy. Really, as we get the third foul of the game on Jaden Jaden Baya, who will stay on the floor right now. Coming out of the game was Calvin Begay, and the guy that came in for him is now Jalen Brown. The first time we see Jalen Brown in the game for Window Rock. The scouts having to go pretty deep to their deep on their bench with foul trouble. But uh, I was making a comment about the Rattlers. We'll get to that here in a moment. There is a smooth move on the baseline, but Arizona couldn't make the shot. And there is Jaden Baya coming out of the pack with the ball, and he wants to go all the way, and he does. Jaden Baya with the big make for the scouts, and they go back in front by three. 32-29, three minutes, 13 seconds left in the third period. Arizona inside. Villagoti's shot, no good. Got it back. Still no good. And finally, Pedro is headed to the foul line. The guilty party is Tyron Watchman. That's his first foul of the game. Team fouls now seven on Window Rock. Five on Tuba City. The intensity of the defense is ratcheted up, and so is the number of fouls in the second half. Martinez shot good. Tuba City has attempted now eight free throws in the third quarter. And they're shooting, shooting well. They are eight out of nine now with that make right there for Pedro. There's a good look at Martinez. Eight out of nine in the third period. That is a big part of the comeback for the Warriors. Down by one right now. And a three out there for Toledo. No good for the, for the scouts. Fulton Jr. gets it to Quinoyazzi. Knocked out of his hands. And a travel. Nope, jump ball. Jump ball by the official. Let's see, somebody out there said, uh, let's see, Pat Lewis said, Pat said, Mustangs love you too, Floyd. I'm watching from Kayenta and enjoy what you do for the reservation. Go Mustangs. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. Can't wait to see the Mustangs soon. And that, that amazing year they're having. Both the boys and the girls. About that 41 point night a week and a half ago for El Brandon by Joe. Linda Rock misses. Somebody trying to play soccer out there, kick it around. Now there's a football play. Hey, there was basketball, soccer, and football. All in one play right there. Take a look at it on the replay. Here's the basketball part. Now here's the soccer. Watch this right here. Watch. Watch this. See that? See the soccer kick? And now here's football. Boom! I'll take you out. You got three sports in one play. And a great job by our production crew capturing all that. Derek and, and uh, Leo, Leonardo, Leonard Keone up, up on top, and of course Julio K. That foul a moment ago on Marion So One and one for this guy, Tate in Arizona. The make and the make. And the lead again for the Warriors back and forth here in the third period. 33-32, uh, uh, the score. Marcus Nelson drive, miss. Tipped out to Tate in Arizona. Fulton Jr. couldn't finish in transition. He had a wide open look. And it was just a little bit too strong off the back iron. Shot no good. And a, and a foul. And that is the fourth foul on, on Fulton Jr. So Tuba getting their big guy into some foul trouble. 
We are at the two-minute mark of the third quarter. Tubin 33, Window Rock 32. Jalen Brown lost the dribble for a moment. Marcus Nelson picks him up. He's got the ball. Now we'll get it outside. Marianito covered by T. Wawina. And wide open. But the three is way over the mark for Diami Toledo. 95 seconds left in the quarter. Bounce pass, Quinoa Yazi, the runner is good. Somebody forgot about Quinoa. And he's got the bucket for Tuba. They've got a three point lead. A window Rock turnover on the travel in the paint. Well, I mean, tough situation for Coach Klaus Chief. The Fighting Scouts, they bring Cutter bit silly back in the game. Cutter's a shooter. May need some shots, but tough because two big guns, two starters on the bench. Taylor Begay, Devin Yazzie, both with four fouls. By the way, Jaden Baez got three fouls. He is out of the game, too, right now. Hey, great pass from Jaden. Inside found Fulton Jr. Fulton got the shot. Five-point lead. 15-point swing, now back to 13. After the make by Jaden Baia. J well, Jaden is back out there on the floor, isn't he? Timeout after the make. Coach, Coach Kowalski wants to talk to his guys. And we'll grab a timeout as well. Northland basketball fans, back in a moment to Warriors Pavilion. What a game. Northland basketball presented by Choice Broadband. The team at Beam and Will Drilling is like a great football team. They work hard, they work as a team, and they play to win. Their reputation is second to none, and they proudly call the White Mountains their home, even though they complete projects throughout the entire southwestern United States and beyond. No project is too big or too small for Beam and Well Drilling, so when the time comes for you to punch a hole in the ground, remember the White Mountains' top well drilling team, Beam and Well Drilling. Call anytime, 928-205-7647. Go deep with Beam and Well Drilling. 49 seconds left in the third period. Tuba City. I don't know what Coach Butler said to his guys at halftime, but he said all the right things. Fulton Jr. from the baseline. Shot no good. Quinoa Yazi. Rebound. And that little runner is going to roll out. No good for Tiwa. Rebound, but a long pass over the head of Baia. Scouts turn it right back to Kyler. Tiwa Wina and the Warriors. No shot clock consideration for the final now 12 seconds of the third period. And the scouts steal it. Four seconds on the clock. Marcus Nelson. Shot good and foul. Shot good for Marcus. Count that. Foul on Tate in Arizona trying to get there on defense. And we'll just stay here before the quarter ends. Take a one minute timeout after we find out if the guy at the line can make it a three point play. The light on the, the light on the, on the basket, you know, the, uh, the light that, uh, that ends the quarter, it's still shining. <laughs> it's still shining. And they finally turn it off. If I'm the scorekeeper and I'm the home, if I'm the home scorekeeper, I might leave it on myself. Try to tie the game. It's tied. Wow, what a quarter. Huge comeback by Tuba City. We're tied at 37 with the fourth quarter on the way. In just a moment, basketball fans, this is why we love Northland basketball, these great games. Fourth quarter next. Our coverage here at the Sports Zone of Northland basketball brought to you by Choice Broadband. Stand by for the fourth quarter.
Choice Broadband is now available to more homes on the Navajo Nation than ever before. Visit the Choice NTUA Wireless District office nearest you to get started or go online to choice-wireless.com forward slash broadband to see if your home can get connected. The team at Beam and Will Drilling is like a great football team. They work hard, they work as a team, and they play to win. Their reputation is second to none, and they proudly call the White Mountains their home, even though they complete projects throughout the entire southwestern United States and beyond. No project is too big or too small for beam and well drilling, so when the time comes for you to punch a hole in the ground, remember the White Mountains' top well drilling team, Beam and Well Drilling. Call anytime, 928-205-7647. Go deep with Beam and Well Drilling. Fourth quarter underway, everybody. Welcome back in. Floyd Simmons on the play-by-play call of Northland basketball for the Sports Zone and our coverage brought to you by Choice Broadband. So the fourth quarter begins with a tie game, 37-37. This guy tied it. Marcus Nelson cut off on the baseline, had to get it outside, and the three no good for Marion Ito. Scouts on the rebound, and Jaden Baia lost it, and then he might have accidentally kicked or kneed Pedro Martinez. And finally, shot is good. Martinez gets up slowly. You'll take a look at the replay right there. Martinez is going to make his way to the bench. Well, I'm glad he didn't get. You watch Tate in Arizona with that beautiful finish right there on that last basket to give Tupa City the lead. Tatum's got 16. Pedro's on the bench. Hope he's OK. Glad he didn't. He wears glasses. Glad the glasses weren't smashed and all of that. And here we go. Drive, scoop, Nelson. Might have been a three second violation on, on Window Rock. See, somebody out there said we saw George Strait in Albuquerque years ago. Kunoa Yazi on the jump shot. That's good. Tuba seems to have more in the gas in the second half than, than Winterrock does. They're on top by four now, 41-37. Drive Nelson to the corner for three, and it's good. Jaden Baia cashing in a big shot. Back to a one-point game. Thanks, Toby, for the score on that 49ers Seahawks playoff game. 41-23 to win for the 49ers in the paint. They're going to count that. Count the shot for Quinoa. And a Marcus Nelson foul is second of the game. Well, the, the two guys with four fouls each Taylor Begay and Devin Yazzie return for the scouts. The thing about it is they need these guys desperately. And the problem is that they can't play the kind of defense they need to play, I don't think, in this final bit. So we get a quick timeout from the Tuba City bench. We'll grab one here as well. North. Land basketball, folks. An exclusive presentation of the Sports Zone. It's brought to you by Choice Broadband. Back in a moment. Imagine this, a professional healthcare partner that's concerned about you, your choices, your health, your safety. At White Mountain Regional Medical Center in Springerville, choice and elevating your healthcare experience is the mission of our new CEO, experienced physicians and friendly staff. Whether you need a rapid COVID-19 test, a vaccination, or you're looking to utilize the newest MRI, CT scan, or nuclear medicine technology, White Mountain Regional Medical Center, located in Springerville, is your healthcare partner when choices matter. White Mountain Regional Medical Center will bring you the Sports Zone Radio Player of the Game and a, and a, and a great T-shirt for that young man who gets that at the end of this one. Who will it be? There's a lot of names you could go through. We don't even know who's going to win this one. We do know that Tuba City, with six minutes left, leads Window Rock 44-40. Here's a long three for Devin Yazzie. Didn't make the shot. Jaden Bayat couldn't get the rebound. Tayden, Arizona, did. 
And for Tuba City, Tyler Tiwawina in the front court. Turnaround, 16 footer, good for Quinoa Yazi. Hey, nice range, Quinoa. He scored seven points in the fourth quarter. He's got 12 in the game. Hand off right side. Driving a hand check on. That's on Fulton. It's not on Fulton, it's on Merrick Billigode, because I'm gonna say Fulton's got four fouls. Merrick's got a few to give. He's only committed his first foul. There's another great look on the jump shot, Quinoa. Putting together a great fourth quarter for Tuba. And it's Marcus Nelson at the line. Makes that. Biggest lead of the game before that for Tuba, six points. That one good too. 525 remaining basketball fans. Outstanding game put together by these two teams. Runner by Quinoa Yazi missed that one. Rebound Hayden Arizona. And he came up short. He thought the defender was going to challenge him. And he didn't. Because he can't. That was Devin Yazi. He had to yield. But Tayden didn't realize that. And we get some action on the far sideline there. Ball belongs to Windorock. 4.56 remaining in regulation. Great pass. Good feed by Devin to Marcus Nelson, who tips his own in. Big make by Marcus. Back to a two point game. And there's another miss inside. Bouncer to the baseline. That's going to go out of bounds. That's a turnover. We're going to pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Sports Zone Radio Network. This is Sports Zone Radio. Sports Zone Radio. Champions play here at Sports Zone Radio. Well, in addition to our live video streams, we're also broadcasting on the Navajo Nation on, on some radio stations. KTBA Tuba City, that's AM 760 and, and 95.3 FM. Also, KHAC Window Rock on AM 880. I believe that was Merrick Billigody right there with the basket. Uh, KWIM 104.9 FM also carrying the game as we watch Tiwa Wina beat the defense back and a big make for Tuba. And want to mention broadcasting on KPGX Navajo Mountain Lake Powell on 93.5 FM. Devin Yazi, biggest lead of the game right now for Tuba. Six points, 50 to 44. They're going to get more right? Nope. Pretty good pass by Tayden, but Quinoa did not haul in that pass and went off his fingertips out of bounds. Well, that guy right there, the coach you just saw on the screen, Pete Butler, he's one of our sports on radio guys. He's done a lot of broadcasting with us over the years. Coach Butler has, as he customarily does, invited us to his home for dinner after the game. And, and we're at least going to make a swing by because they are preparing Navajo tacos for after the game, and he warned us that the next time we're, we're around, we're in town, we would get Navajo tacos, and that's a threat that I would like to see fulfilled. Fresh homemade fry bread, chili beans is what we're gonna have with those Navajo tacos as we watch Taylor Begay after the foul make the first one. Missed the second. Kunoa Yazi rebound to Tayden, Arizona. Three minutes. Three minutes remaining in this one. 50 to 45. Tuba in front. And they're going to bring it way back outside and try to burn some clock here now. 19 on the shot clock. Tayden struggles. Oh, what a play. What a play. Jaden Baia, the dive. Did you see that? I hope we got a great shot on that. What? A hustle effort by Jaden Baia. 
to dive as he saw his opening. We didn't quite see the whole play right there on the, on the replay. Let's capture a longer one next time, guys. That was a heck of a play by Jaden. He had to go to the bench. I think he's dinged up a little bit. Certainly hope he's okay. What a play, and, and then in trying to get it back, Tayden rolled on to the boundary line with a ball, and Jaden Baia gets the turnover, but Scout's unable to make, make anything out of it. Nope, they gotta get it. Follow and shot good by Devin Yazi. That was a big play, and they cashed in the defensive effort by Jaden Baia. Gotta love it. 2.15 left to play. And a, and a pass that almost goes in backcourt. Good save. Tate in Arizona. Pull up. 15 feet away. Punoa missed it. Rebound. Taylor Begay. Scouts right here. A three can tie it. Minute 50. Jalen Brown steps in. Off the glass. 14-footer no good. Rebound, and out to Devin Yazzie. To Jalen Brown and Marcus Nelson. Tried to tie it, couldn't do it. Three-point shot, no good. Right side, Quinoa Yazzie deep. Who's going to win it? A minute 15 remaining, Taden, Arizona. He'll drive and lose the handle to Marcus Nelson. Scouts run it. Nelson, left hand, no good. And that's the fifth foul on Devin Yazzie as he came into contact with Quinoa on the rebound. Hold on a second. Yeah, that's, that's what it's going to be, the fifth foul on Devin. And that is also going to send Quinoa Yazi to the foul line. Turn this into a two-possession game. Hey, mentioned earlier that they're giving us some food here. They got, got a hamburger. And I'm assuming that this is a Tuba City delicacy. Is this a, is this a Tuba City delicacy? Hot dogs wrapped in a flour tortilla? I don't know. It looks great. I just haven't had a chance to eat it yet. It's getting cold. Quinoa, big free throw, and another. Quinoa Yazi in this fourth quarter, he's got 14 points. Nine of that in the quarter. He's three for three at the line in the fourth period. I don't know, guys, talk to our staff for a second, but if Tuba City holds on, it's going to be hard for you guys to talk me out of Quinoa Yazi as the Sports Zone Radio player of the game. He has had a marvelous fourth quarter. And those foul shots right there, big. Big shots, got about a minute left in this one. 52-47, Tuba City in front of Window Rock. New Warriors, both these teams, this, this game is huge for both teams, right? Coming into the game. Tuba City was ranked number 23 with a four and six overall record. Winderog was number 29 with a 4-5 overall record, and in the 3A East standings, Winderog was in fifth place with a 2-4 region mark. Tuba City in sixth place at 1-3 in the region. Important game for both teams. Taylor Begay missing inside, fighting to get it back, and he puts it in. Back to a three-point difference. Big make for Taylor. Playing out there with four fouls. 33 seconds left. Right side, Fulton Jr. now out on top. That's T. Wawina, 25 seconds left. Tuba City, 15 on the shot clock. About a five to second, six second difference between that and the game clock. Inside, Billigodi misses, got hacked. I'm gonna put him at the line. And he'll get Two shots. And the guy that got him was Marcus Nelson for his third foul. So the game comes down to perhaps even these free throws with 13 seconds left. Yeah. 
And the first one for Billigody is off the mark. Big shot right here, makes it a two point, or rather a two possession game. And he makes it. Wow, what a shot. Big shot. 53 49. Tuba in front, 10 seconds left. Marcus Nelson, step back. He's trying to get a shot away. He does with contact. Oh, he almost made the three. It was, the distance was good. It was off the back iron from the angle. The guy that fouled him was Billigody out there. Fighting hard to stay in his hip pocket. Boy, if that shot goes in. And then Marcus makes the free throw. We're tied again. That was big. Four seconds left. And a, and a full timeout. Let's grab one. Northland basketball presented by Choice Broadband. What a game. The finish coming right up. You can push it in, pull it in, or drag it in. You can also carry it in, tow it in, or lead it in. Hatch Toyota is doing some old-fashioned wheeling and dealing to put you into a new Toyota or pre-owned vehicle this week. So let's talk. Old cars, motorhomes, campers, quads, boats, personal watercraft, even jewelry, or old coins. Hang on. Wow, yeah, livestock too. Hatch Toyota Solo is willing to consider anything of value for trade. So you can drive away in a new Toyota or quality late model, low mileage car, truck, or SUV. We are paying the highest trade-in values in our history for your old ride. So bring us your old junk or items taking up space at your house or garage and turn it into cash towards a new or pre-owned vehicle. Hatch Toyota, keeping the White Mountains rolling for 32 years. Hi, this is Chaz Hatch. Get our statewide low price guarantee on every new Toyota. Find out more at HatchToyota.com or visit us today at the Northern Arizona Auto Mall in Sholo. Well, the free throw is good. The free throw is good. That makes it a three-point game. He needs to miss, right? Miss. Get the ball. No, no, I take it back. Yeah, he was outside the, he was outside the arc. So now they want a miss. And I think they look over to the bench to, to find out the instruction. Want a miss, want a rebound, and a putback, right? So three free throws for Marcus Nelson, who is five for his last five from the line. Marcus he has 16 points in the game. Coach Butler calls timeout to talk it over because what do you want Marcus to do right here with just a couple of seconds remaining? You want him to miss, right? You miss, get the rebound, put it back, tie the game and go to overtime. And it's a lot easier said than done. One of those moments where you try and over and over and over and over at the line, you are, you are working at making that shot. And here's that moment when you just, you gotta try and miss. But you, do, you can't miss the whole thing though. You gotta get a piece of iron, right? And then hope it tips out. And then you make the follow. We'll see if it happens. That's the, the game plan right here for Coach Klosci. And Winderock. Here's the shot. Up high. Off. Scouts had it. Shot is off the mark. At the buzzer. The tip also no good. They did it. They got what they wanted. But they didn't get the win. They got their chance, they worked it out just right. That young man, Marcus, Marcus Nelson did exactly what he wants to. And he didn't cross the line to violate the that. He got it back, had the look he wanted. They even got the follow tip right there. Taylor, he released before the buzzer. You see, watch the light. They had two shots at it. That's exactly what you want to do. And that's the end of the game, 53-51. What a win for Tuba City. Nice comeback. They trailed by 10 at halftime and win it by two. We're going to talk to the Sports on Radio's player of the game. That is Quinoa Yazi. That'll be coming up in a moment. We love Northland basketball, don't we? Don't you, folks? Because of this stuff right here. We love it. We're going to actually stay here without a break to talk to our player of the game who is going to step right in. What a fourth quarter. Let's check it out. Six, nine points of his 14 in the fourth quarter. Let's get it rolling. Can you hear me all right? Yeah, I can hear you. Let's uh, pull that microphone up just a little bit more. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. 
Well, Northland basketball fans, we were treated to an absolutely great finish tonight at Tuba City in the boys' matchup. Final score, Tuba City 53, Window Rock 51. The, the scouts had the last second chance to tie this game the way they wanted to and were so close to executing, but it just didn't quite finish for them. Tuba City with a big second-half comeback overcomes a halftime 10-point deficit. And the Warriors beat the Scouts 53-51. Northland basketball presented by Choice Broadband. And the Sports Zone Radio player of the game joins us now. That's brought to you by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. Here's the young man of the hour, the hero that helps win the game for Tuba. Quinoa Yazi joins us. Hey, Quinoa, congratulations. Thank you very much. How was that, huh? How exciting was uh, that finish? That was exciting. Yeah. You know, yeah. The fans, the yeah, Warriors man. fans, the faithful came out and made a lot of noise. Yeah. Talk about the adrenaline. Talk about the finish and the fun of winning a game like that. Well, you know, you just want to give it your 100%. Um, first half, we didn't really do that. So halftime, we wanted to come out, get rebounds, make a run. Yeah. Yep. Well, you were, you were down by 10 at halftime. And Coach Butler, I don't know what secret sauce he gave you guys. He had to say something good because you guys came out and played a great second half. What did he say? He said um, three, 20, 22 and 10 have three fouls. So whenever we get the ball, we just take it to them. If they foul, they foul. Get back on defense. And, you know, we're a second-half team. We want to become, like, full game team. But, you know, we always finish out second half really good. Yeah, that's exactly what Coach Butler told us about a week ago the last time we yeah. were here is that you guys just are you're having slow starts. Yeah. If you can figure that, that part out, if you can <coughs> get your second halves going, how do you feel this team will do down the stretch in January? I think we're going to do good. You know, we just got to keep practicing, keep hustling. You know, once we get that first half part right, we're going to be a good team. Let's bring it back to talking about you in the fourth quarter, okay? You scored 14 points overall in the game. Your, your team's leading scorer was, was Taden. Yeah. Taden, Arizona, had 16. You had 14, and you got nine of that in the fourth quarter. You were, you were three for three at the line in the period. You made the last five free throws, six free throws that you attempted. That was huge, man. <laughs> and uh, just th those last two free throws you got that made it a two-possession game, that, uh, uh, that, that really was the difference. Talk for a second about playing under the pressure tonight. How did you feel out there? I felt really good, you know. I wanted to prove myself this year as a senior. And I practice free throws every day in practice. I try to get 10 for 10, 20 for 20, all that. And, yeah. and, and it showed up for you yeah. tonight. It's yeah. got to make you feel extra yeah. good. All right, man, we're going to let you go enjoy this big win for you and the team. What a victory for the Tuba City Warriors. Great second half comeback. And uh, you're the player of the game, Quinoa. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Quinoa Yazi, the Sports on Radio's player of the game, brought to you by White Mountain Regional Medical Center. And a, 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 just a huge second half comeback. Let's talk to the, to the guy that, uh, that engineered this one from the, from the, from the coaching perspective. Uh, and, and a guy that's pretty used to that microphone right there. And he just uh, slid on. Let's bring it back to you. North Land Basketball is brought to you by Choice Broadband. Basketball fans, uh, Sports Zone Nation. And tonight at Tuba City, a brilliant second half comeback for Tuba as they knock off Window Rock 53 51. Joining us now is the head coach of the Warriors, Coach Pete Butler. Hey, coach. Hey. Way to go. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, that's a big win for us. Big, big, win. Yeah. big comeback. You were down by 10 at halftime, and it didn't take long. You came right out on, yeah. on fire, and you got the lead. It had the lead as high as six points. Right. Right. In that second half, uh, let's talk about what you did in that uh, third quarter to get the lead back. Well, we pretty much, you know, like I, like I usually say, we, we're a second-half team, and, and that's not what I want. I, I need us to start from the beginning, and I don't want to be in a hole. And It's hard to catch up, and you, you exhaust a lot of energy catching up, and that's that was my concern. But, uh, but we were able to maintain our energy, and uh, all we had to do was just start, start playing defense. And that's what I told them at halftime. you got to start playing defense. you got to help one another out. you start got to start getting the rebounds. And eventually that's what we did. And, and uh, for some reason, the, you know, it's just, it just takes maybe a minute for us to get right back into it, and we're back to playing the way we should be playing. But uh, that was a good effort from our guys. Uh, yeah, we've been down by 15 in some games and, and be able to come back and win. Uh, but, and th they know that, they understand that, and they know how to come back. Well, I know, Coach, you don't ever want to have to play from behind like right. that. But the knowledge 
uh -huh. that you've overcome those kinds of deficits. That yeah. can be useful when you exactly, get to the playoffs, right? Exactly. Like it, it's, it's just more pretty much setting us up for the bigger games. In the, I mean, the, the, big, the big games, you know. Uh, we might be in a situation, hope, you know, if, if we get in the state tournament, we could be in a situation. Like we'll, we'll know what we're going to do. But a lot of it's just, uh, you know, I got my coaches here on the side where they see things on the floor and they pretty much tell me what what we should try and do. And we, you know, and, and I, you know, if they see something good, I'll go with it. And, and, um, and uh, you know, they, they were a big part of this win tonight. And, um, you know, you can't go without some good coaches and uh, trustworthy ones, too. Well, Coach, uh, let's see. Let's talk about a couple of the guys on that roster for you that, that showed up big tonight. We can talk about Tate in Arizona all night, so we probably won't spend much time on him because some other guys were there for you when you needed them. Uh, let's talk about uh, Kyler Tiwawina. Couldn't hit his shot in the first half. Came out on fire in the third quarter. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that's Kyler for you. He, he'll be cold in the first two, half, first two quarters, and he'll come back out firing. But um, he's starting to find his shot. Uh, it's been gone up until... Uh, th three games ago, it's been coming back, and he's starting to get some confidence in shooting the three. Uh, but but the more emph emphasis is, is to go to the basket, drive, and uh, you know, to me, I'm an old-time basketball guy. The, the way you get your rhythm is you get to the free throw line and you get that rhythm going. <clears throat> That's what I tell him, and uh, they're they're starting to, starting to pick those things up. Yep. But but he came out on fire. And Nathaniel Fulton Jr. as well, not a lot of points, okay? And I don't think you uh, call on him or expect him to, to give you a lot of points, but he gave you some great minutes. And he was out there in that fight down the stretch doing a lot of the really hard, gritty, hard-working stuff that you need a guy like that to do. You know, Nathaniel is uh, he, he's just a hard worker. You know, in practice, he's working hard, you know, trying to get our guys to run harder and stuff. He, he might be tired and exhausted and – you know, just lagging behind, but but he makes that effort and he pushes our guys. But the thing I like about Nathaniel is he's a relentless rebounder, mm -hmm. and and that's all he cares about is rebounds. Yeah. How many did I get? Yeah. He, he could care less for points. It's just it's how many rebounds did I get this time? But yeah, he was on the boards. And I want to uh, two more guys I'll mention. First, I want to mention a particular play that was turned in by by uh, uh, let's see who. Who was that here that made the – let's go to your Sports on Radio player of the game. Let's talk about Quinoa Yazi for a moment. 14 points, nine of those in the fourth quarter. He was three for three at the line in the quarter. He was six for seven in the game. He had made his last six free throws in a row. How about that guy? Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, Quinoa loves to shoot the three. That's his shot. He, he thinks that's his shot. But we have to convince him that's not your shot. Your yeah. shot is in the paint. Yeah. As, and then we put up these graphs for him and then tell him that this is, look at this. This is where your shots are coming from. Yeah. He, sometimes he forgets and he wants to bomb the three, but we have to start yelling at him. Like, you know, get back in the paint, you know. And that's his spot. And that's where I think the game turned around is when he started hitting those jump, the little short jumpers at yeah. the elbow. Uh, that that's just him, you know. And uh, but he needs to realize that's always going to be his shot right there. It's open all the time. Are you uh, satisfied with the win tonight? I'm 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 more than satisfied. Yep. Like I tell my team, you know, it's coming down the stretch. I don't care how we win, as just, long as we get the W. Just, just win. Yeah. Just win, baby. Yeah. And and, and they, they realize that. And yep. we, you know, the, at the end, I tell them, don't foul. But they eventually foul. <laughs> you <know. laughs> well, you did win though, coach. Yeah. You, two things then I leave you with. First is this. Uh, I heard, I heard that uh, Derek and I, on the way out of town here, we're going to be treated to some, some homemade fry bread and chili beans. Is it's, that it's there? Navajo tacos. It's waiting for you. Okay, yeah. excellent, excellent. That's mm -hmm. going to be great. Second thing is, we did get some food here from the uh, folks uh, having a party or yeah, something here. Yeah. I don't know in the back seat. Is this a delicacy in Tuba City? Oh, somebody, heck yeah. somebody gave me uh, uh, two hot dogs wrapped in a homemade Tor flour tortilla. That's delicious. That's a home. That's a delicacy that's in Tuba. A delicacy. Well, yeah. I, I'm going to find out. Anything you can wrap into a tear bread, <laughs> hey, that's the anything, way to go. <laughs> anything goes. Coach, congratulations. Big Thank one you. for you guys. Thank you. Appreciate go enjoy it. that. All uh -huh. right. There's Coach Pete Butler. And the final today, 53-51. to 51. Tuba City has defeated the Window Rock Fighting Scouts. And that brings us to the very end of this broadcast of Northland Basketball. Remember our next game up Tuesday night. We will be at Winslow. It's Winslow hosting El Chisay. What a game that and a matchup that's going to be Winslow boys freshly off that victory over 
the number four ranked Blue Ridge Yellow Jackets. That was that was, I believe, number twenty-eight. Winslow beating number four Blue Ridge in that game. Is that win going to help Winslow a lot in the rankings? It better, right? I think it will. So that was a big win for Winslow. We're going to see them take on Al to say both those teams playing better and better basketball as we get into the month of January here. So looking uh, highly looking forward to, to that matchup coming up right here at the sports zone. And then the following day on Wednesday, we see Winter Rock again. Winter Rock at Snowflake as we bring you Northland basketball presented by Choice NTUA Wireless. Northland Basketball has a, an exclusive brand of the Sports Zone. Thank you to Derek Simmons, the camera guy, our producer, and his great production team for the great work they do. Listen, uh, you know, they're so good. Derek is so good, and our team is so good that we, we get done with a skeleton crew what takes other people two and three times the number of people to bring these productions to you. And you know what? I'll still take my guys over anybody else. I think our, our, our people do the best job. And so congratulations again to them on the fine work. Derek Simmons, the producer, to uh, Julio K., our technical director tonight. He was assisted by his wife, Jessica K., uh, today as well. So thank you, Jessica, for helping out. And then uh, Leonard Keone on camera tonight. What a great team that I am blessed to work with here. My job is the easy job. I get to sit back and have the fun while those guys do the hard work and do a great job of it. For the entire crew, Floyd Simmons, <coughs> thank you for jo joining us. Pardon me, there's that cough. Got to get these last words out. Thank you to, to, to Jamie Rowe, the athletic director, the administration at Tuba City for the great hospitality. And thank you to, to Coach Pete, Pete Butler and Quinoa Yazi for joining us from the Tuba City Warriors victorious over Window Rock 53-51 in this game. For everybody, all those great people, the entire crew, Floyd Simmons, thank you for joining us, saying God bless you. Be careful on the roads out there with that snow coming our direction. We'll see you next time. See you Tuesday for more Northland basketball. Bye-bye for now. This has been Northland basketball. An exclusive presentation of Sports Zone Radio. Listen online at sportszone123.com and download the Sports Zone Radio app for your smartphone and listen wherever you go. Join us again for the next broadcast of Northland Basketball.